Hi, welcome to Wiki Techie and Kashiv Infotech. Uh, this is Venkat here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the like uh, JSX. What is JSXL? So React is one of the very powerful technology for the React technology. You got a specialized language called JavaScript and XML. The combination is called as JSX. Using JSX languages, you are able to embed your JavaScript code into your HTML. That is a major advantage of your JSX. As I told you before, JSX is nothing but it is a superb language used by the React technology. You may ask me a question, what is React sir? React is a very powerful technology used to create your web application. The major advantage of your React is very simple people. It is very simple. It is used, it is used with the virtual DOM concept. You may ask me a question. What is a virtual DOM sir? Virtual DOM is nothing but your entire web page is there. Among that a specific portion will be getting updated. That is called as virtual DOM and react is the best technology which will be used to load your websites in a proper way over here you are able to see as i told you react will be using the jsx your specialized coding let's move on to the step by step area of how this react works as i told you the combination of javascript and xml is called as yeah, jsx so stands for javascript xml allows us to write HTML in React and make it easier to write and add HTML in React. So that is the one we are going to see. So these are this is the major advantages or the nature of JSX. As I told you, a JavaScript with HTML will form a React JS technology. Okay. So I'm going to talk about three major areas. The one is like how this JSX works, how to write the coding step by step. I'm going to teach you people. And uh, the second thing is like, I'm going to show you the live examples with my website, how the React code works with the different expressions. The second area and third area live in the live. I'm going to write, I'm going to write an HTML code and I'm going to show you like how the React coding is created with the create element concepts. Three areas we are going to discuss now. Are you ready? Let's move on. The first one is like a JSX coding. So JSX coding is the one we are going to discuss. So JSX coding in the sense, over oh, here you are able to see, I got a website kashivinfotech.com. So I got a web designing course in Chennai website. That's awesome, man. I got a website. To create a website, you need a HTML, the structure of the website. And to give a style, the colors, you'll be using this style sheet that is called as CSS. I want a validation, sir. I want a special functionality, sir. You got your script tag here. So you got your HTML, under that you got the style tag, under that you got the script tag. Okay, this is how the basic HTML structures are. Okay, now over here, I'm going to use the script tags to do a lot of manipulations with this JSX coding. So JavaScript, as I told you, it is used for validations. Yeah, client-side scripting or client-side coding can be done using JavaScript. So over here, JavaScript in the sense like, here is a simple JavaScript I'm going to show you. You are able to see constant x is equal to 5. I got a variable. Text is equal to Kashu. This is a lit. It can be a variable or something like that. You can specify it. Okay. So it is declaring the variable. The variables are declared. If x is less than 10, 5 less than 10, no way. Yeah, it's, it's yes. The value of text is changed from Kashu to wiki -tiki. So the output is text is wiki -tiki. Okay. So this is a JavaScript functionality. And the overalls will be written in this JavaScript code. This is script tags. Okay, under the script tag, it will be written. This is the basic JavaScript code. Over here, I'm trying to like, I'm going to like explain you like how we are going to embed your JavaScript code with HTML. That is the one we are going to see now. As I told you, you got the JavaScript code. So I think I need to like, I need to add a HTML. How I'm going to use it? This is called JSX code. Oh, I got an HTML. The script is removed. That's awesome, man. So the script is removed. And here is the h1 tag, which is your HTML and the JavaScript variable is declared here with the brackets. That's awesome, man. Oh, this is how it works. So the data, the variables will be declared in your brackets. Okay. This is called as JSX code. 
okay so now i got my jsx code that is awesome man okay now let's move on to the complete react code so i've written a javascript embedded with html now make it as a react rendering react dom rendering okay that is the one we are going to see it so react dom rendering is nothing but so rendering your react components and show it in the web page before that like hashim info tech our company we got a lot of trainings for the students many companies are looking for job openings from our company like many company many companies are looking for kashu info to train the students okay so congrats to all the people who got placed so on behalf of our company okay congrats to you people and over here as i told you if any of the recruiters or companies look into this video i request you please share your job description to us we are ready to give the best candidate without any charges to you people on the other end if there are any students looking into my video if you are looking for any career change any help please contact me for job openings because we got plenty of opportunities yesterday we got a like a like a openings from a bigger company okay we are ready to refer you people at free of cost no charges the restriction is like you should be a kashi in for trained course students okay so please share your resume i am ready to help you here are some of the opportunities a company is looking for 150 plus candidates java trained candidates to them and over here no js developers they are recruiting freshers and experience over here like they are looking for freshers that's really awesome so our company students freshers they are looking for trained dot net fresher candidates they are looking for and over here you got they are looking for software testing engineers manual and automation testing these are some of the recent openings last week i got it last week i got it plenty of opportunities are there just get ready okay let's move on the complete react code what is the one we are going to see it now so let's move on to the complete react code react in the sense of how this react works we should understand the entire html is considered as a dom document object model yeah react html document model so we'll be writing this kind of code react dom render the code the entire document so entire document render it and show it to the people okay so over here the document will have will be having the root element so dot get element by id root so you need to specify it this is a javascript code indicating the root element render it and make it as a dom and show it to the people and what you are going to render in the root man the root will be having the element so element put it in root and render it and show it to the people so this is the line of code we'll be writing react dom dot render element comma element the it is a variable you can have any name document dot get element by id root this is how you need to give it let's move on to the code okay here is a final piece of code i'm going to show you here is the react code i got the javascript which i told you i got my jsx code over here i got my final react rendering code Okay, this is how we are able to show it. You are able to see it here. I got my H1 text of H1. What is the text? Wiki tiki is the text, right? That's awesome, man. Wiki tiki is the set that is set in the element. That's awesome, man. And from here, the element is moving on and place it here. This is how the entire React technology works. Okay, this is a full piece of coding. So let's add some libraries and finish the entire coding part. Here is the one. I got my libraries. So for the React, React DOM, you need some libraries. You may ask me, what is this index? I say, yes. We don't. We don't want this one. Okay, to give the style some. If you want, you can specify it. So variables are declared. JavaScript code is given. Integrating the JavaScript code with HTML. Your final React rendering. The entire code is completed. This is called as the React coding part. Okay, and uh, people like if you want to contact me, if you want to learn technology, you can contact me at any da uh, any time. So post your like uh, like uh, like questions and anything in your comments section of our video, or else you can contact me via the contact numbers given here, or my via my WhatsApp number. You can send the message to me, or else if you want to contact me directly, it's really simple, people. This is my Insta account, Kashiv underscore info tag. Click the follow button. You can contact me at any time. I'm ready to help you. And we got our Telegram channel. So t.me slash Kashiv info tag. You can join the channel. I'll give regular updates on technology to you people via the Telegram channel. Apart from that, we got our Facebook account. Your Facebook page for Kashiv info tag. 
या लिंकड इन पेज फॉर काशन फटक एंड ट्विटर अकाउंट फॉर काशन फटक यू कैन रीच मी वाई आर एनी ऑफ दी अकाउंट्स एंड यू कैन फॉलो मी एट एनी ऑफ माई चैनल्स और एनी ऑफ माई अकाउंट्स वाई आर द सोशल प्लग इंस एनी वे सो यू मे आस्क मी क्वेश्चन टू मी लाइक सर हाई वॉन्ट बिकम आई वेब डिजाइन स्पेशलिस्ट सर वॉट आई कैन डू सर लर्न वेब डिजाइनिंग लर्न रियक्ट प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज वन ऑप्शन सो हाउ आई कैन लर्न गो फॉर इंटर्नशिप्स इंटर्नशिप्स आर नथिंग बट गो टू योर कंपनी गेट रियल टाइम एक्सपोजर्स get trained gain experience do some projects why are that one you are able to enter this job that is called as internships or you can do courses also via online and also via offline you can talk to me i'm ready to help you people sir so what i can study sir so you can study the entire web designing as a single package a full stack web development as a single package or you can study the entire packages with the multiple technologies to build your profile like this you can learn web designing and networking dot net or java or python with sql server or oracle why you are have why why you may ask me question why i need to learn this much sir because the opportunities are more you can go as a web designer or network engineer a dot net programmer or java programmer or no need to learn everything or okay or a database developer the opportunities are awesome people you know more about the opportunities with 20000 to 1 and 1/2 lakh salary per month any department any degree people can do it and it's a coding areas you can be a specialist treat me as your brother contact me i'm ready to help you okay you may ask me a question sir i want to know what i need to learn to become a web design expert sir go to this link kashivinfo.com/online-web-development-internship i'll put this link in the description the first comment please check it out just scroll down scroll down scroll down you are able to see all these contents learn this one and build your profile so just scroll down to the bottom you are able to see interview questions also i place lot of interview questions so you can start learning the interview questions also via this particular page okay so here is the link once again i'm repeating kashinfo.com/onlinewebdevelopmentinternship the link is in the description and the comments use it <laughs> yes let's move on to the like a running part how react js works in our live websites okay that is the one we are going to see now so now we will talk about the live website so just go to this link i'll put this link in the description don't worry wikitiki.com/tutorials/react just go to this link over here i got my react js jsx click this link you are able to see your react jsx technology over here i given all the content a textual content for the interview perspective and here is the one you are able to see here i got the base element i got the base element here you got here a react i got an element h1 h1 react jsx h1 i place a react dot dom which i clearly explained it before so automatically with the h1 tag you will get it executed so you are able to see it here the react jsx so npm start i'm going to start it now once if i click enter and your react js will start this is how your react js works okay so just scroll down to the bottom you are able to see i'm going to create it as an element so you are able to see not as a variable create it as an element using the create element method so you are able to see it here now i'm going to run it so create it as an element not as a plain h1 tag create it as an element because while creating an element you are able to manipulate you can process the element easily that is why like we need to put it as an element a plain plain variable element is a variable here just a variable here over here i'm going to create an element place it in the variable that is different okay the next one we are going to talk about so sir can i do some processing here itself sir so i'm trying to do some processing 5 plus 5 put it in the braces it will work so 5 plus 5 so right like open image in new tab you can you are able to see the bigger window that's good man looks good looks good here <laughs> okay so you are able to see it like this the expressions are really awesome okay now over here like i'm able to see i can have multiple elements or multiple tags embedded in a single element and trying to process it trying to process it this is one way of showing the output like this 
and over here I got an another way of accessing the top level element I want to like I, I can have group it in a div tag or something like that you can group it okay in my previous example I don't have any grouping and unordered list but div tag you are able to group it with your div tag okay so this is how it works you are able to see it here I'm a robot I'm a robot too okay this is a code I got it let's see like uh, what is the actual code you are able to say I'm a robot I'm a robot too I got two codes here and let's scroll down to the bottom you are able to see it here uh, the same code I've written over here I guess ah over here you can see ah this is the difference this is very very important area I'm going to show you the code just check the code here you are able to see it here the bracket the less than and greater than bracket over here over here I got the div tag avoid the div tag you can have this kind of code also you can specify instead of a div tag grouping number of elements using this particular close and open brackets this is also a possible one predominantly as in like the entire websites will be having this kind of code you can't see this kind of code in the websites because it is a very simplest form of grouping the tags okay scrolling down I'm trying to show you like the elements must be closed <laughs> okay so you are able to see I got my text box text box here and this is not the actual output so you are able to see the text box here okay and over here I got my class name this is an another way of identification if you are able to know about the CSS it is very easy to understand like what is this class name so class name is an additional way of representing the data representing special meaning to the tags that is called as class name you are able to see the class name here okay and uh, so you, you may ask me a question sir I want to give some conditions sir. is it possible whether I can able to give the condition process it and show it here constant x is equal to 5 text is equal to cache x less than 10 make it as wiki -tiki. obviously it will have wiki -tiki here so we are able to do some javascript functionalities and put the output over here that is also is possible and you are able to see it here sir I don't want a complex if else condition and all sir can I have a ternary operator x less than 10 if it is true print it as wiki -tiki. or else print it as Casio 5 is less than 10 so obviously it will print it as wiki -tiki there okay you will get wiki -tiki there that is okay so this is called as a ternary operator so this is like a frequent uh, programming technique used in C program C++ Java .NET, PHP everywhere and is used in react also okay so hope you got a lot of ideas let's move on to the live implementation of how the code is written let's move on yeah like I hope you learn a lot of uh, techniques of writing your JSX coding and I put this link in the description just check it out and get a lot of ideas let's move on to the next area of live implementation coding how the HTML is structured as a JSX programming let's move on so here is the technique of uh, converting your HTML to the JSX coding you are able to see it here in the left side I'm writing my HTML code in the right side you are able to see the react JSX code H2 wiki tiki react tutorial slash h2 that's good react dot create element h2 null wiki tiki okay this is written as here react coding there by creating an element oh i am writing a div tag element element oh i'm you are able to see it in the right side you got the element create element under that you got the create element. create elements create element div tag create element h2 tag create element that's awesome man i want to give a container name id is equal to like a container okay that's awesome man you are able to see create element div id container under that you are able to get the create element h2 tag so this is how your jss code is created from your html code i hope you got an idea like how the html is work how the react jsx is created okay now um, okay i think i need to run this program i forgot it okay let me repeat like how it works so you are able to see the code here uh, 
I think I need to play this one. Let me go back here to see how it works. Yes. Okay, now let's move on to like a, so like I'll copy this code, I'll try to place it in the environment over here and I'll try to execute it now. Okay, so here is the element. So my element react dom dot render my element. I'm going to run this code. Okay, so the same code I copied from there, I put it here. Okay, now I'm going to start it npm start. Just I'm trying to run it. Once if you run it, you are able to see the React JS coding. I got a div tag under that you got your h2 tag. H2 tag is given here. So you got your h2 tag. We can take a React tutorial. I made this too. Just save it. No need to do anything. Automatically it will get reflected. This is a virtual DOM technique. Specific portion is getting updated. This is how your virtual DOM works. Hope you got an idea and our company Gash and Fadak, we are providing lots and lots of internship trainings and also direct courses in our office. You can contact me at any time. I'm ready to help you. Apart from that, I request you people, please share this video to friends and everyone. Let's spread some good information to every one of the people around you. So this is Venkat signing out from Wikiteki and Kashi and Fadak. Hope you learn a lot of things. Thank you. Jai Hind.